This video is brought to you by the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Go to patreon.com slash discgolfnerd. What's up, everybody? In this video, we have Team Latitude 64's Tristan Tanner. He will be giving us his top five tips for forehands. So big thank you to Tristan for sharing some of his expertise with us here on the channel. I'm sure we can all take something from this as Tristan has an incredible long distance, buttery smooth forehand that I definitely aspire to in my own game. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he has to say. So stay tuned to check it out. Please check out Tristan's own channel right here on YouTube. You can find the link for it in the description below. Without further ado, here's Tristan. What's going on everyone? I'm Tristan Tanner, part of Team Latitude 64. Today, I'm taking over the Disc Golf Nerds channel to give you guys my top five tips for the forehand. Tip number one is the grip. The biggest thing, as it is with any grip, is to keep it comfortable. Something that's comfortable for you might not be comfortable for someone else, so try out all the grips and see which one works. The three grips, main grips, are the power grip, which can look something like this, or it can also be more of your fingertips closer together, getting that angle down towards the rim. There is just a more standard stacked grip, which a lot of people like to favor, gives you a lot of control at a lot of different distances. And then the last one is more of a fan grip. This is uh, comfortable for some people with bigger hands, and uh, you might be able to find a little bit more control on the shorter shots. The one main thing to keep in mind with the grip is to keep your fingers going towards the rim. So see how my fingers are angled, pointing more towards the rim than they are to the flight plate. This would be more towards the flight plate. I keep them tucked more towards the rim. That's how it is with any of these grips. And then you wanna keep a good solid pinch point between your fingers and then your thumb. Tip number two, a lot of people on their forehands start with the disc more in this neutral position. On a forehand, we wanna to try to get the disc farther behind our, behind our forearm. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take the disc and cock it back this direction. So on my throw, this is what my arm position looks like. It allows the discs to trail and then gives you a little bit more acceleration and snap. Tip number three, keeping your weight back on your walk up. There's a couple different walk ups. Some people like to do an X step. Some people like to do a little bit of a crow hop. Some people just like to slowly exchange their feet. Uh, but the one tip with all of those is keeping your weight to the back. If I'm throwing that direction, keeping my weight back and allowing it to go forward. As soon as my left foot hits the ground, all that weight is gonna get pushed forward and into the disc. Tip number four is to snap the disc early. A lot of people think the forehand is snapping the disc late at the end, trying to get that extra whip with your wrist, but you wanna take that same motion and do it when you're at peak reach back. So I'm bringing the disc back and then I am snapping it forward from this farthest point back, just like you would on a backhand. It helps you accelerate the disc for a longer amount of time. It'll save your elbow and shoulder because you won't have to be trying to throw the disc as hard. Tip number five is following through. Be sure to, after you snap the disc forward and you or going to the basket, let your hand fall all the way through to take that pressure off your shoulder, elbow, and wrist and allow the disc to have a clean release. Thanks everyone for tuning into the Disc Golf Nerd. My channel and social medias will be linked down in the, des the description. Go ahead and check those out if you wanna see a more in-depth forehand tutorial. But for now, be sure to like and subscribe to the Disc Golf Nerd and we'll see you guys in the next video.
That's it for this video. Thank you once again to Tristan Tanner for helping us out and sharing his expertise with us here on the Disc Golf Nerd channel. I appreciate it very much. Thanks to all of you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for future uploads. And I will talk to you very soon. Cheers.